Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this new Swift tutorial. Uh, today we're messing with web views. I did one about two years ago now. Uh, it's a little out of date now, um, and uh, we're here to do a new one, do it better. Um, we're also going to talk about uh, app transport security, which is something a little newer that Apple has put into place in order to make your apps more secure. And we're going to talk about that as well in a second video uh, that'll go right along with this. So we're gonna open up Xcode and we are making a web view today. So very simple. Um, in fact, it's gonna look very similar to a previous video I did uh, back in 2014, I believe. We're gonna create a new Xcode project and I am just gonna call this, it's gonna be a single view application. Uh, I'm just gonna call it web view. Uh, make for sure it's for Swift, iPhone, sweet, hit next. Go ahead, put that on your Mac, who cares? put it on there um, and we are ready to begin programming. So go to your main storyboard. Um, if it loads, there we go. I'm gonna move that to the side there, get some more screen real estate. We're gonna go ahead and real quickly put our web view in there. I'm gonna put it in just like that. We're gonna make it nice and snug around the corners. Give it a nice little full screen view do that. We're going to add some constraints here. Uh, we're just going to hit add missing constraints. So that way it adapts to all phone sizes, including the 6S and the 6S Plus, along with the iPhone SE, iPhone 5, uh, those types of deals. All right, so sweet. We have that. Now we need to actually begin the program. We're going to make a little bit of room up here once my computer stops loading. There we go. Very impatient today. Gonna go ahead, drag this in. We're gonna call this simply web view. And then the next thing we're gonna do is declare a variable for the URL path. Uh, and we are going to do HTTPS colon slash slash google.com. Do that. Next, we gotta create our function. Our function is what is actually going to load the address. So we're gonna do load address URL open up some brackets, brackets are nice. So we are now gonna actually do the NS URL request uh, in order to get this put into the web view. So let's request URL is what we will call it. I believe that's what we called it in the last one. NS URL and then string uh, URL path, which is referencing this guy up here, the google.com. Uh, the next one will be let request, which is just your request, equals nsurl request, um, and then url colon request url, which is referencing the line above. Um, and then the, la the one thing that we do need to put here compared to the old Swift versions is an exclamation point, so that way we close this up right there. Uh, next line, uh, web view dot load request, request, request was the name of that. Next step is going to be simply to go to our view did load function, load address URL. So one of the things you may have noticed in all this code is we used HTTPS instead of normal HTTP to load that Google. Uh, that google.com address. So we're gonna run the app first, just make sure it works. Um, hopefully my code was correct. Um, doing this kind of on the fly today. Um, let's get into the simulator here on the 6S Plus, it looks like today. Give it a moment. Well, the web view is there, there it is. All right, cool. So it did load uh, very slowly. My internet is dial up. I'm in google.com.pe. Guess where uh, Guess where PE is. Know your country codes, just saying. All right, anyway, I'm in South America, so a little slower down here. Anyway, one thing that you notice is how we did HTTPS. If I do HTTP, I'm gonna show you what comes up here. You're gonna get a little error down here at the bottom. All right, it says web view app transport security has blocked a clear text HTTP resource load since it is insecure. Apple does not want you to use the clear text HTTP because it is insecure. 
Um, in the next video, we're going to show you how you can get around that and how you can refrain from having that happen. Um, so that'll be in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this up-to-date tutorial on how to do a quick um, web view load in Swift.